guys and welcome to this video. <laughs> um, I'm starting this video off very glamorous. As you can see, I've got wet hair. I'm in bed. I'm in my jammies. I'm about to head to bed because I'm going to film a video for you about how much sleep a flight attendant gets. And I'm going to film the next three days. And I think this would be really interesting to track just to give you guys an idea of how much sleep flight attendants actually get. Sometimes it's very minimal. <laughs> like tonight, it is almost 10 p.m. and I have to be up at 3. So I'll be lucky if I get five hours sleep tonight because I start at five tomorrow. So to track my sleep, I'm going to be using this bad boy. It is the Ultra Human Air and it's basically a ring that tracks your sleep, your menstrual cycle, your steps, your fitness, all that jazz. It just fits on your finger like that and you charge it and it lasts days. I've been using it for the last couple of weeks and it's actually brilliant. I hope you enjoy this video. If you're new here, my name's Brie. I obviously am a flight attendant and I'll see you guys in the morning. Hopefully I got some sleep. <laughs> I don't like to check my sleep the first thing in the morning. I first like to wake up and then just feel how I'm feeling and kind of make an assessment first and then look at the app. How they track it is from a number from one to 100. And usually when I'm in like the 80, 90, that's kind of like where I like to be. And anything under, especially like anything under like 60 is usually not ideal. Like not a, not a number I like to get on the sleep tracker. But I don't like checking my sleep first thing in the morning because I find that if I get a bad number, then I kind of trick myself into believing that I had a bad sleep. When I may have had a bad sleep, but also equally I may not have or may not be feeling the effects of a bad sleep if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense but basically I don't want an app to dictate if I'm gonna have a good day or not <laughs> you know because I feel like that's totally happened where I've had minimal sleep and my app said like I've only had a sleep 50 out of 100 and then I tell myself all day like oh I'm not doing this because I haven't had enough sleep I have enough sleep and I kind of use that as an excuse to not do things as well basically I like to just feel how I'm feeling right now and I'll give you my personal rating of how I'm feeling and then I'll give you a rating on what the app is saying and how my sleep like technically was. I'll give my sleep last night a rating. So I give it maybe like a, a 75. It obviously wasn't the best. Like I'm not feeling super like rejuvenated. Um, but at the same time, I'm not feeling like completely dead. Like I woke up before my alarm today, which doesn't really usually happen on early starts. <laughs> I need to finish up my makeup and I'll tell you those details later. Hey guys, so I'm just going to the airport now. Um, I'm still not going to check my score until I finish my shift today. Today I'm just doing a day trip, so I'm just flying somewhere and then I'm going to be ending it back home. So I'm going from Melbourne to Maroochydore and then Maroochydore back to Melbourne. I land around 11 11 30 a.m. so I finished pretty early and then I have the rest of the day which is nice but um, I'll let you know like my sleep court score and like show you the statistics when I get home just because then it doesn't affect my day if that makes sense because I know I definitely didn't get enough sleep last night because of the early wake up but, but yeah I'll see you guys when I get home. So I finished work for today back in my car obviously and I thought before I drive home I'll go through my stats for my sleep yesterday so to be honest I was feeling quite tired today it kind of hit me a bit on my last flight about how tired I was feeling and I'm gonna have to use all my willpower today to not have a nap because I start again at 5 a.m. tomorrow and I feel like if I have a nap a nap to me is like a three hour sleep <laughs> I can never have like a short nap yeah I've got to power through so I can go to bed early tonight and then get enough sleep for my shift tomorrow. I actually haven't even looked at my stats from yesterday. So I'm just going to open the Ultra Human app. I'm going to pop it on the screen here for you as well. Perfect. Okay, my sleep index. Oh, interesting. So I got 67 out of 100, which is not too bad actually. And what I love about this, so it tells me how much time I've got in bed, my total sleep, efficiency of my sleep, my average heart rate, and my average HRV. And then it gives me like a rating of all these different 
different sleep index contributors. Total sleep needs attention obviously because I only got a total amount four hours and a half hours of sleep and if you click on each of these sleep index contributors so I'm going to click on total sleep needs attention and it tells me I only got four hours and 33 minutes and then it gives me some like tips you know it tells you to avoid caffeine have a good environment all that jazz which I think is actually pretty cool anyways but this is my favorite part where it tells me about my sleep stages so as you can see my time in bed was five hours and eight minutes and it tells me all the times that I was awake so you can see you can scroll along here it tells me I was awake then and I was awake at around one o'clock and then I was awake around 2 30 and I woke up a few times around here too which is funny because my alarm went off at three which is when that went off but then I actually went back to sleep <laughs> and woke up and got out of bed and woke up again at 3.30. So it tells me also my REM sleep which is these hours which REM is really important to help you maintain memory and all that kind of stuff. It's got my light sleep and oh, see I'm yawning already. <laughs> And then it's got my light sleep and also my deep sleep and when I moved throughout the night too. I actually didn't really move that much. And it tells me my, my heart rate, the temperature that I was. Yeah, that's all my sleep data. So it wasn't the worst sleep, but it's definitely my total sleep. I definitely think, yeah, it doesn't need attention. Hope you found that interesting. I might even give you a few tips throughout this vlog, how I get to sleep quickly and also my like sleep routine. Hey guys, guess what I told you I wasn't going to do after work. Oh, I wasn't planning on having a nap, but I couldn't help myself. When I was driving home from work, actually, I found myself like nodding off. And as soon as I do that, I pull over and lie down and have a nap. And so that's exactly what I've done. It's so, so dangerous to drive when you're tired. And I was like so close to home as well, but I was like, nah, I'm just pulling over. I'm just going to lie down. And I think I slept for like 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah, I definitely don't muck around with that kind of stuff because I have actually crashed my car <laughs> driving home from work when I've been really tired. It's so dangerous and I just will never do that again. If I'm tired, I just pull over. So my airline and I'm sure all airlines in the world usually have a fatigue management system that is in place because it's such a fatiguing job and tiring job and it's so dangerous to drive and to be working when you're tired and all that stuff so if I finish a shift and I'm too tired to drive home then I can either get a taxi to drive me home or I can ask to be in a hotel um, straight away and just have a nap and I've definitely used those systems before and they're brilliant and that's what they're there for but because I'd already left to go home and I was like I was actually around the corner from home but I just I just don't muck around if I'm tired I just pull over straight away because it's not worth risking over it's currently like 6 6 30 p.m i think i was out for like three hours <laughs> and i'm meant to be like going back to sleep in like one to two hours to wake up again at five anyways angry at myself because i've totally ruined my sleep schedule now i'm gonna have dinner soon even if i can't sleep i'm just gonna wind down and do some things that are relaxing also i'm like a freaking tired mess right now like excuse my appearance for this whole video okay this is reality <laughs> um hello guys i'm already for bed i kind of want to walk you through my nighttime routine just quickly some things that i do to help myself wind down for bed so first thing i do is I have a shower not only a normal shower but a really hot shower I just love my hot showers and that just calms down my body and makes me kind of ready for bed um, another thing I do is I do my skincare it's kind of a ritual I do that's part of my routine um, another thing is I bring myself a big glass of water well it's actually not big but a glass of water <laughs> um, to have my my nightstand so then if i wake up during the night thirsty i don't have to get out of bed and walk to the kitchen you just take a sip quickly and then fall back to sleep um another thing that i do is i try to read before bed instead of scroll on social media um i find reading really um calms me down and the blue lights of course we all know that's blue lights aren't good for you especially when you're trying to fall asleep i also make sure that my environment in my room is good so there's a few things that you can do to help you have a good sleep and your environment has a big effect of that the first thing is it needs to be a dark place so if you don't have block out blinds get some it'll be life-changing to you um another thing is you need 
a room that has a low temperature. Another factor is it needs to be quiet. So that is a huge factor too. If you obviously have noise going on outside, that's going to wake you up and disrupt your sleep. Anyways, so that's in terms of environment. The last thing that I do that I literally swear by is I use lavender oil. This is just the one by doTERRA. It is um, actually lavender piece, it's called. I use this if I want to knock myself out and have a really deep sleep. And trust me, it like really knocks you out. So what I usually do is I'll drop some like on my pillow or I drop some just on my wrists as well. Because then when I'm sleeping, I can smell it. I don't know if it's a placebo using lavender oil, but I feel like as a scent, my body recognizes that scent and correlates that with bedtime so my mind's thinking right now like okay I'm smelling that it must be bedtime and I feel like it just like makes my body wind down a bit and fall asleep really quickly so there's my little bedtime routine um I'm gonna track my sleep again tonight and I'll let you guys know what it is tomorrow tomorrow I'm starting a two-day trip so tomorrow night I won't be home but yeah I'll talk to you guys tomorrow hey guys I've just gotten to the airport what lipstick do I want to wear today Let's wear this one. This is the Maybelline 373 Moave for me. It's a cream one. Um, it's 5 a.m. and today I was meant to be doing a Newcastle return. So Melbourne, Newcastle, Newcastle, Melbourne, and then Melbourne to the Gold Coast. But I've been put on airport standby first for like five hours, and then I do the Melbourne Gold Coast later <laughs> so not sure what that's about but i'm on airport standby so that could change i could be given something else and then i'm in the gold coast tonight so we love i haven't checked my sleep but i feel like it was like a 12 out of 100 <laughs> because i feel like i woke up quite a few times in the night and because i had that big nap after work yesterday that just like completely ruined my sleep schedule so <sighs> Wish me luck for today. Luckily, I'm just doing one flight today, right? So I'm definitely not a morning person at all. Let's head to work. Let's go catch the bus. I should have just been filming like this. This is way better. Anyways, now we know for next time. I've just been editing and reading a book and stuff while I've been on airport standby, but I'm slowly getting very tired. And so I'm actually gonna go to our crew room and nap room, there's a fatigue room with couches that you can lay on and like kind of relax a bit. So I think I'm gonna do that for the next couple of hours. Um, it's currently 7 a.m. I've almost been here for two hours and I still have three more hours to go. So let's do that. Gold Coast. I've obviously just got in my room. The ocean looks so beautiful out there. Can you see it? So, so beautiful. It's meant to be raining, but it doesn't look like it's raining, which is so good. It's currently 2.14 and I don't know what else to mention, but I do want to go through like how my sleep was and stuff with you guys. Um, I might just quickly get out of my uniform and have a shower and then we'll chat about it because I did have a nap at the airport as well. So <laughs> I'm going to go through the Ultra Human app and show you my sleep for last night. Okay, this is interesting. Just when I opened the app, it said something at the top saying we detected a nap and it said like, did you nap? And I said yes. And then my sleep score has gone up. I did end up having a nap um, in the fatigue room for, I'm going to say two hours, maybe two and a half hours, which was so good or else I'll need to like have a nap now. Although now that I'm talking about sleep, I can't yawn. It's going to be a lot of yawning in this vlog, I think. <laughs> it's gone up 15 points due to one nap and it's got my sleep index at 76. So before my nap, it was at 61 um, and now it's at 76 because I had that nap. I think that this index is, is just showing me my sleep for last night and it doesn't include the nap because it says that my total sleep was three hours and 53 minutes and I was in bed for four hours and 23 minutes, which I think was last night. <laughs> like I went to bed pretty late to be honest. And then my sleep efficiency was good, temperature optimal, restfulness was optimal, total sleep needs attention. Obviously, I don't know if I mentioned this morning, but I felt like I woke up a few times in the night and it does have some times where I woke up for like five minutes. It says I finished sleeping at 2.33, which is probably right because I did wake up and check my phone at 2.33 
because I was like crap did I sleep through my alarm <laughs> shows my movements my heart rate was 49 looks like it doesn't actually show me my nap I'm just so glad that I got in that nap <laughs> this morning um, or else I probably yeah it would have been really difficult today I think so next roster I've bidded for lates because I just feel like I can't do mornings mornings just kill me I much prefer to work later in the night like I'm definitely a night owl rather than a morning person anyways there's my sleep for last night and I'm going to record my sleep again today and let's have a goal of trying to get everything optimal <laughs> let's do that so I'm getting picked up tomorrow at 4 20 a.m so I have to be up at 3 like 3 20 basically so another early morning tomorrow I'm gonna try and be in bed by like 8 9 p.m that's my goal so I've got four hours to play with I can't keep doing like four hours of sleep per night it's just not efficient for me before I head out I bought some protein powder with me I've also got this little fiber one bar that I'm gonna have yeah let's make a little protein shake it's cookies and cream and I forgot the brand but I'll put the brand on the screen it's a really good brand one scoop gives you 30 grams of protein and it tastes delicious so delicious so i'm gonna pop that in some water and give it a shake i've got some tuna for dinner as well but i need to buy something to like eat it with because i can't bring myself to just like eat tuna by itself this is my outfit by the way um this little dress i actually bought it from the thrift shop, but it's by the brand ganda it was such a find it was like literally five dollars or something and i think it's so so cute perfect for a gold coast layover I've made my way to the beach I don't know if you can hear me at all but look at this view it's so beautiful I have literally the water in front of me and I'm just gonna sit here and read for a little bit but yeah this is so relaxing this is so so nice being at the beach and oh my gosh it was so beautiful like whenever I come here in layovers and I go to the beach it makes me want to move here because I feel like you would have such a good lifestyle here on the Gold Coast or even like the Sunshine Coast because just being so close to the beach and the beach is so nice I just feel like you'd have a really good lifestyle being able to like wake up go for a walk along the beach enjoy a swim so I feel very relaxed very rejuvenated which is much needed since I didn't get much sleep last night <laughs> and I went for a really long walk as well I did like over 10,000 steps it was getting quite windy on the beach actually I started eating sand <laughs> because this because of the wind it was blowing the sand towards me and it got all in my blueberries so I need to wash those hello guys so I had a shower because I literally had sand everywhere but I've just been doing some editing um which has been really good and it's 5 30 p.m and my stomach is rumbling because it's actually 6 30 my time back in melbourne so it's definitely dinner time so i'm gonna have some dinner um and i'll show you what i bought from the shops as well i think i've mentioned this in other vlogs before but bringing my own cutlery has been game changing it's actually been so good so i gave myself a budget of ten dollars at the grocery store and i'll show you what i got so i got some traditional crackers to have with my tuna i also got this little thing of cheese this cheese is so good if you ever have it um got my blueberries of course and i had to get a chalky because I need like dessert every day um and i also got a big bottle of water because i didn't bring any water with me i'm gonna eat this up and i might even like watch something online i've been watching um the bachelor on 10 play so let me know if you've been watching it i'm gonna watch it now i'm up to episode three <laughs> It is 8.30 p.m. and I'm getting ready for bed. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn down the aircon to 19 degrees. 
because that is the perfect degrees whenever you're in a hotel room but trust me don't kick it until you try it 19 degrees perfect and i'm gonna jump into bed and do a bit of reading and hopefully fall asleep in the next 15 to 20 minutes i of course am wearing my ultra human ring so i'm gonna be tracking tonight we start work really early maybe i'll get six hours sleep hopefully hopefully a bit more um i'll let you know my stats in the morning tomorrow is a really big day of flying so i'm excited to potentially be getting a bit more hours of sleep tonight to get me through tomorrow because yeah it's gonna be a really big day and i'm gonna need all the sleep that i can get oh before i go to bed i i want to mention something that i found super interesting so i was listening to this podcast it was uh oh, i can't remember which one it was it was either um diary of a ceo or the school of greatness but or maybe it was both maybe they both interviewed this one person like this sleep expert and it was so interesting i listened to it probably mm, maybe like six months ago but it's really changed my mindset around sleep and i know obviously i haven't been getting <laughs> much sleep the last couple of nights and that's something i'm focusing on this new year is getting enough sleep and stuff but there was this fact that they shared in this podcast by this sleep expert and basically when daylight savings happens and you lose an hour because of just one hour less of sleep that night there's like so many more like car accidents heart attacks strokes that happen in the next day and the week after it's like i forgot what it was maybe it's like 20 percent increase or something like that of heart attacks and strokes just from losing one hour of sleep which is crazy because i don't know like myself like i've been getting like four hours sleep the last couple of nights like i wonder how my heart's doing <laughs> and like how my body internally is doing because i definitely can feel it in my brain that i'm you know it's a bit harder to concentrate sometimes on a lack of sleep yeah and then also vice versa when daylight saving stops and it goes forward an hour and you get that one extra hour of sleep there's this another statistic where like there's a decrease in like road accidents and strokes and heart attacks and all that kind of stuff um just from increasing one hour of sleep so yeah it's just i found that so interesting and it really made me realize how important sleep is like if that happens just due to one hour or lack of sleep like what happens if we continually don't get enough sleep every night <laughs> like what's that doing to our health yeah anyways i just wanted to share that little statistic um just to inspire you guys to get some sleep <laughs> anyways yeah i'm gonna head to bed and i'll see you guys in the morning Today is like the first day that I've woken up and actually feeling really well slept. <laughs> Probably because I got more than four hours of sleep last night. I think it's because I didn't nap when I got to the hotel. I like stayed awake and then was able to go to bed early. I think that just makes such a difference. I forgot to ask you guys, but do you have like a particular routine that you do when you go to sleep? Like what do you do to like help yourself wind down or is there any like particular like supplements you take or things that you do that really help you sleep well let me know in the comments because it'll be really interesting to chat all about it the lighting in this bathroom is so bad <sighs> I just hope my makeup looks okay because it's not natural lighting and the light is like literally coming down from here. So I'm gonna see the movie Anyone But Us tonight with the girls. I'm so excited. It looks like such a fun movie. Let me know if you've seen it and what you think of it. Cause this video will come out after I've seen it. Hopefully it looks okay. I can't really tell with this lighting. <laughs> oh, I wanna show you this thing. This is one of the things that Brayden got me for Christmas. It's like a makeup bag. So when it's out and I'm doing my makeup, it's like this. And then you pull these wires. And it pulls it, kind of pulls it all together. And then I usually just put these little strings in here. And fold that over. And there's my little makeup bag. 
um, I think it's so convenient because usually when I'm doing my makeup I usually have to like pull everything out but this way it all stays in here and I'm not like pulling out makeup so glad Braden got me this because <laughs> it's it's literally changed my life it's great <laughs> I'm in dire need for a haircut and I have one booked in for I think next week actually yeah in like 10 days so I'm so excited yeah recently I've just been growing my hair in a bun because my ends of my hair are like so feral So today I'm doing four sectors. I'm flying Gold Coast to Sydney, Sydney to the Gold Coast, and then Gold Coast back to Sydney, and then Sydney to Melbourne. I'm packing the last sector, which is really nice. So I have some time to relax before we head home, which is really, really nice. Should be good. And I wanna go through my sleep for last night. I got the lowest sleep index out of the last two nights, and I got the most amount of, oh no, I only got four hours sleep. How did that happen? Oh. There you go. Isn't that so interesting? See, like, that's what I mean, like, about a placebo. Like, I feel the best that I felt the last two nights, yet I've got the lowest sleep index. So now I'm probably going to be thinking, I had the worst sleep of my life last night, but actually I feel good, which is interesting. But, yeah, look, you can see how many times I woke up during the night i think it's because i've been in like a different environment this obviously isn't my house so i think i always sleep a bit differently when i'm not in my own house anyways i really need to head downstairs now so i'll see you guys when i speak to you guys so i'm back in my car um i've just finished work for the today today was pretty good to be honest i didn't feel as tired today as i felt the last two days something really good was that i mentioned that i was going to be paxing the last flight and paxing means flying as a passenger so you would have seen i got a boarding pass and i got to um sit in a normal seat and all that jazz so i literally just slept for an hour the flight was from sydney to melbourne literally just slept i was out but yeah i'm going to continue this vlog and i'm going to track my sleep tonight as well because tomorrow i have a day off so the goal is to reach 80 90s <laughs> i'll let you guys know how that goes and hopefully achieve like the optimal sleep that I can. Hey guys, so it's the next day and let me tell you I had the best sleep last night and I'm going to go through my stacks real quick. Before I do, I just want to um, talk a bit more about Ultra Human and this ring. There's a few rings like this on the market, but I personally think Ultra Human is the best version because it's actually super light. It's one of the lightest ones um, and it's less chunky, which I like as well. Also, the app that I've been using and showing you guys is actually a free app, whereas some of the other rings companies that are similar to this product they have like a subscription that is attached to it so you have to pay a subscription each month to be able to use their app and get the stats whereas this one you just literally buy the ring and download the app and it's free from then on so the only expense is actually buying the ring which is really good ultra human has given you guys a discount as well if you want to try it out the discount code is brie 10 you get a fantastic discount i'm going to go through my sleep now so um sleep index okay i've got seven hours of sleep and my sleep index was 88 which is the best that I've had in the last like couple of days which you would have seen so I had eight hours 13 minutes in bed seven hours and eight minutes of sleep sleep efficiency was good temperature was optimal restfulness was good total sleep optimal 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 restoration time optimal and and then it shows me all my sleep as well so i never really realized how much i wake up in the night until i got this ring because i personally feel like i don't really notice if i've woken up i got an hour and 39 of rem sleep heart rate was good temperature was good so overall a really great night's sleep and i've definitely felt it today i do want to mention that it is definitely really hard to get a good amount of sleep being a flight attendant and i think just anyone working shift work in general um is pretty hard just because you're up at weird hours you're going to bed really late like your sleep's kind of all over the joint so i hope this video kind of showed you that but also i do want to give a bit of disclaimer that i personally really struggle with doing earlies i much prefer to start later in the day and finish 
at like midnight or something. I find it quite difficult to go to bed at like 7 p.m. Let me know in the comments, do you like waking up early or do you prefer staying up late? I think everyone's a bit different. But yeah, this was such a fun video to make and I hope that you found it informative as well. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video.